Well, good morning and welcome to Ignite this morning. I do hope that you're well. I do hope that you've managed to avoid the rain and that you're looking forward to the wonderful weather that we're going to have coming up shortly. Um, today we've got a challenge for you, we've got a Bible reading, we've got a reflection, we've got a prayer. So do stick around uh, and see what's in store. Um, but first, our challenge. So this is a juggling challenge. You just need three juggling balls and all you need to do is see how long you can juggle for before you drop a ball. You're only allowed one attempt, of course. Um, so uh, yeah, check out me, Hannah and Sam trying this challenge and see who wins. Okay, let's see how long I can juggle for. Time now. Hi guys, I'm Sarah. This is my juggling attempt. I'm going around the room. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Hannah and this is my juggling challenge. Oh no. Uh, well, obviously, I'm not very good at juggling on the spot, but make sure you check out St. Mary's Youth on Instagram and make sure you try your challenge and send us your videos. Bye. Excellent. Well, I do hope that you do uh, try that challenge at home. But now let's jump straight into our Bible reading, shall we? Our Bible reading today comes from Matthew chapter 9, verses 35, going into chapter 10, up to verse 18. And it says this. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into this harvest field. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and illness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon, the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal those who are ill. Raise the dead. Cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely, as freely you have received and freely you will give. Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff, for the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter their home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly, I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils to be flogged in the synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. Now I'm going to pop some discussion questions up on the screen, so feel free to pause the video, discuss the questions with those around you, uh, or just think of the answers on your own. So the disciples are sent out to proclaim the good news to the whole world. It's, it's the good news of Jesus' love and it is for everybody. They're told not to go to the Gentiles or the Samaritans, but to go to the lost sheep of Israel. They're to specifically go to the people who haven't heard this message of Jesus' love. 
and it's for them and they need to hear it. <laughs> and uh, this task is not going to be an easy one. Jesus says it's like sending sheep out into a field of wolves. And as I'm sure you can imagine, that doesn't always end very happily. But this is a task that is going to be scary. It's going to be hard. But Jesus is sending them out because these people need to hear this message. Not only is it going to be a tough job to complete, but Jesus is telling them to take nothing with them. No money, no clothes, no bag, no stick, nothing. It feels completely alien to us, doesn't it? To go on a journey with nothing. I mean, you wouldn't pack a bag to go on holiday and, and just leave out your clothes. You wouldn't take, you wouldn't, we wouldn't just go without any money. You'd make sure that you had everything you needed with you. But Jesus is saying, hey, go, because the worker is worth his keep. People will help you because they know that what you're doing is worthy. He says that wherever they go, they should find a worthy house and stay there until they leave. Now, that must have been quite daunting to the disciples because they didn't know where they were going to stay. They didn't know where their next meal was going to come from. Everything was so uncertain. But the disciples did have one thing with them. They had the Holy Spirit with them. And as we've been talking over the last couple of weeks, we've seen that the Holy Spirit is a guide and is a helper and is someone who guards and protects and you too can have the Holy Spirit living within you, just as the disciples did, guarding and protecting you. We can use paint and a straw to see this. So if we put a little blob of poster paint on a, on a piece of paper and then we blow with the straw, as the paint spreads out, that symbolises that the disciples are going out into the world. But the air coming out of the straw, that's the Holy Spirit going with them and covering the world as they travel together. Jesus doesn't just tell the 12 disciples to do this task. He tells all of us, all of us who believe in him. We must go to the places where they haven't heard the good news and we must tell them. We must share the joy of Jesus' love to those who haven't heard it or maybe haven't heard it in a long time. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it is dangerous. That the Holy Spirit will be with you, guarding and protecting you. I wonder where you think you might go. I wonder where you might be able to make a difference. But now, let's pray. Holy Spirit, help me. Be bold and be brave. When I face a world of people harassed and helpless, help me be bold and be brave. When I come face to face with wolves, help me be bold and be brave. When I don't know what to say, speak clearly to my heart and help me be bold and be brave. Thank you, Father, that you send me out to be bold and be brave. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us this morning and I do hope to see you again next week for our next Ignite video. I'll see you then.